ebony and ivory reptile yo 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 what's up everybody it's your boy Big E, top of the morning uh just coming at y'all um i haven't done a video in a minute but got a little update on the breeding season well if there even is a breeding season but hey what do i know um but just a little update on what's going on over here at ebony and ivory reptiles uh we got a few we had a few ovulations this past week um from the well oh shoot let me just turn the camera on and let y'all see so we had a few ovulations this week and some ladies starting to nest and build or uh, you know what i'm saying just growing one of them is this pastel head clown female uh she's a 2000 late uh, early 2019 female uh, she was bred to the Desert Ghost, Inchy Fire Desert Ghost, uh, Head Clown Male. Um, so she's currently, you know, she's been, not, she's not at bowl rapping anymore. She ovulated uh, last week, about a week ago. Um, and now she's just, you know, sitting here. She's been in the same spot for the last few days, nesting and stuff. Hopefully she'll go ahead and give us a prelay shed and all that kind of good jazz. Uh, but as you can see, there's some eggs in there, boy. You can feel those things in there. So she's just big and girthy. She hasn't eaten in about two months, a month and a half. Um, then the other girl that I'm really excited about, uh, decided to make my own heads for, um, I'm really wanting to get into the Hypo Clown Project, is this girl back here, which is the Mojave Hypo girl. Uh, she was bred to the spot nose clown male. So hopefully we'll hit some Mojave hypo or Mojave uh, spot nose double head hypo clown females uh, to hold back. Um, then, you know, sell off any males that we have. And then, cause I do want to get a visual male in about a year and a half. But I mean, you know, that's pretty much what's going on. I mean, everybody else is growing up nicely. Uh, hopefully this female will be ready uh, for next year. This is just a clown female. I'm going to put the DG male to her. What I'm really excited about putting that DG uh, head clown, inchy fire, or that inchy fire head clown, uh, DG head clown male to is this girl back here, uh, who is an orange dream, yellow belly, head clown female. I know the head to head would be a long stretch, but... I want to get DG into the to my orange dream. If I get an inchy fire OD yellow belly, uh, even if it's not a visual clown, there'll still be head desert go 66% head clown. Uh, I think we're in there. We're golden with that. Uh, this girl's also breeding too, and she's cool seeking. Uh, she's been bow rapping. This is my inchy pied female. So she's been being bred to the orange dream, yellow belly fire, uh, pied male. So hopefully hit some inchy, uh, orange dream, yellow belly fire, uh, uh, uh pied. So yeah, so I'm really excited about that parent. She's big. She's about 1700 grams. Um, and of course over here, we got this male who's always curious, uh, the acid the acid pinstripe uh, male, what is he? He's acid pin banana, <laughs> banana. He's right there in my face looking like a true banana, but acid pin banana male. I'm um, gonna clean out that water bowl. But yeah, that's him. Um, if you notice some of mine are on paper towels, most of mine are on paper towels. Only two are on Coco, which is the Mojave girl that's nesting right now and building and uh, that male. Guess he wouldn't eat on paper towels, but Here's that DG male back here. Uh, he just peed. I just cleaned up their tubs last night, but that's him. He's sitting at about 650 grams, still in this uh, V18. He loves it in there, but because he refuses to eat in the 5540. So I'll put him back in there. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, this girl right here that I can't wait to put to my banana male next year is this girl here show you guys her before we get out of here but this is my banana uh inchy or banana inchy uh orange dream yellow belly head pied female that i got from morph depot um she was like one of the first big purchases i made 
uh, getting into this game, but she is a stunner. Uh, can't wait for her to be bred to my orange dream, yellow belly fire pied boy next year. Um, and she's possible here hypo. So the year after that, I might put her to the DG mail, see if she proves out hypo. Uh, and see, but after I see if he proves out hypo this year, because he'll be going to next year is this girl, which I'm also super excited about. This super inchy, uh, super inchy lesser hypo girl. That uh, inchy fire DG head clown possible head ghost mill will be going to her. So if he proves out and we hit some ghosts in that clutch, oh man, some ghosts. Sorry about that. I had to switch it around. But if we hit some some ghosts with that parent, I'm really excited about that parent next year. Um, I just had a nice offer for that female, but I couldn't give her up because I want to prove out this guy. Um, but uh, if we hit some hypo and we have a chance of hitting super inchies, we have a chance of hitting her, uh, hitting identical babies to her. Super inchy because he has inchy. She's a super inchy. Uh, but super inchy lesser fires um, that are hypo but will be head for Desert Ghost and possible head clown. So you see where I'm going. I'm trying to get into that uh, DG hypo clown game, uh, our triple resets, but that's far down the line. Right now, just want to try to prove him out. If he is hypo DG or, or uh, proves out to be head, then we can work that hypo DG stuff because um, hypo DGs are amazing to me. I think so. I want to get chocolate into it because chocolate hypo DGs are crazy. Those dark jeans and the hypo DG uh, is, is awesome. But I want to get that in there. Um, but yeah, man, so that's just a little update. I hope y'all having a good, uh, blessed uh, season and everything is going good for you, man. This is your boy Big E at Ebony and Ivory Reptiles, man. See you later. Ebony and Ivory Reptiles.